It's day one of the Walk Off the Weight for Women Over 50 series. No equipment needed, so let's go! All right, killer bees, let's get moving and grooving, and that means that we're getting started with some arm circles and high knees. We are getting started with a nice warm-up today before we get moving with our workout, and welcome to it, you guys. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend, and I am so excited you're here. In fact, I'm just, I'm just so excited that I'm going to remind myself right here at the beginning of the workout to just kind of chillax. I have been thinking about and planning for this 31-day Walk Off the Weight series for... Well, not quite an entire year. Last year, I had a weight loss series for women over 50 that I absolutely loved. It was hugely successful. Hopefully, you've gone through that too, unless you are brand new around here, in which case, welcome. But you guys, I've been thinking about it basically since I finished up that last series, and I am so excited to get going. This is... This is the best work that you can do to lose weight at our age, my friends. And I will tell you that it is slightly different, in fact, probably very different from any other weight loss series you have ever done before. Let's go ahead and do some arm crossers with booty kickers. Mostly, mostly because we're gonna take things nice and gently. We're not gonna go too hard. We're not gonna go too fast. We're gonna get sweaty, but we're not gonna go so crazy that we can't do it all again tomorrow. That, my friends, is the magic of walking off the weight is that we are taking things at a beautifully moderate pace that is absolutely perfect to get the work done and that will help us walk off the weight. And let me make it very, very clear. You are going to get in shape. You are going to tone up. You are going to get lots and lots of health benefits from our workouts this month. But my goal for you and probably your goal for yourself is to really work on weight loss. And that means that we need to be thinking about weight loss. And that's why I'm going to be talking about weight loss. And I want you to know that that might feel a little bit uncomfortable at first, you know? Sometimes, sometimes we think about weight loss, but it feels a little bit a little bit weird. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes. Welcome to my home. But it feels like it feels like something that we need to talk about because there's a lot of mystery surrounding weight loss in our culture where we all think that we need to move more and eat less and go hard and work out as hard as we possibly can in order to lose weight. And my friends, that might have worked for you or me or all of us when we were significantly younger, but at this age, the nicest thing that we can do for ourselves while we're losing weight is to be nice to ourselves. And let me tell you about the day. I've got my handy dandy gym boss here, set for intervals of 30 seconds. We're gonna go back and forth between walking and other low impact exercises. There is absolutely no jumping. There are no transitions to the ground today. This is meant to be a beautiful, perfect, simple introduction to our weight loss series. And let's go ahead and get going. I'm just starting with a nice walking pace here. Now, you are welcome to go faster or slower, I will tell you in no uncertain terms that you never need to go faster. When it beeps though, I'm gonna tell you that we're gonna do low swinging tappers. Oh, the other thing is, there's no repeating today. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a long list of super fun, low impact cardio exercises that's gonna give you kind of a sampler of the sorts of things that we'll be doing this month, especially if you are new. Low swinging tappers means that we're tapping from side to side and our hands are swinging low, which means that they are not going up over our head, but not low, like they're not swinging up pretty high because they actually really are. It just doesn't mean that they're going overhead. When it beeps again, we're going right back to walking. We're going back and forth between these cardio exercises and regular walking or marching. If there's an exercise that you don't love or can't do or just feels awkward or whatever, just come right back to walking. When in doubt, walk it out, my friend. And here we go right back to walking right now, in fact. You guys, I want you to know that I have so many resources for you to help you this month while we are losing weight. I, I had a video that I put up really recently, maybe yesterday, depending on when you're watching this, but really recently, that talks all about everything you possibly need to know. And there's a free ebook to download so that you've got resources at your fingertips. When it beeps again, we're doing walking starts. You might know it as a box step or a V step. We're stepping forward, putting one hand up, stepping forward with the other foot, putting that other hand up and then stepping back. We're picking an apple, we're putting it in our pocket and we are, yes, changing leader legs each and every time. That's what's difficult about this one. You might know it by another name, but I tell you what, 
I used to know it by another name and I could never figure it out. It was way too coordinated for me. And yet, when I changed the name to Walking Stars, suddenly my brain understood, here we go right back to walking, suddenly my brain understood what to do with it. And I will tell you that that is kind of like the theme of really this whole month. Take what you can do, make the best of it, and don't worry about the stuff that you don't get right away. We're here to do our best and to have fun. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call toy soldiers. Gonna have our hands up overhead, and we're gonna reach our opposite hand towards our opposite kicking foot. So having our hands up overhead, just in case you have never done any low impact cardio before, <laughs> low impact does not mean low intensity. We are going at a nice moderate pace today, bringing our heart rate up by having our hands up overhead. Anytime your hands are up, your heart rate comes up. So to help yourself to modifying however you need to. Really, depending on where you're starting your fitness journey, or if you are in the middle of your fitness journey, right back to walking, or if you are far, far along on your fitness journey, you can make any of these exercises and any of these workouts totally work for you. And let me tell you, in no uncertain terms, you never need to do more. Weight loss is driven by eating the right number of calories, not by exercising more. When it beeps again, we're going to do something I call upside down jacks. We're going to start with our hands up overhead and we're going to bring our hands down like a jumping jack while stepping all the way out to the side, one side and then the other. And you really are basically shifting your center of gravity, shifting your weight. Really, goodbye Blossom. It was so nice to see you for at least a little while. <laughs> I was wondering how long it would take her before she didn't want to be here anymore. We are shifting our gravity and really thinking about working with our inner and outer thighs on this one when it beeps again, and it will here in just a second. We're going to go right back to walking. You guys, the thing about exercising too much is that it's actually super, super counterintuitively the problem for lots of us. We have spent our whole lives trying to do more, 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 and yet the more we do at this age, when we can't really recover from it anymore because we have less estrogen, estrogen helps your muscles recover from work. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting high knees, which is just what it sounds like. We're twisting our torso while bringing up one high knee at a time. And my friends, what happens when we can't recover from a super tough workout is that your body perceives that as stress and your body has one response to stress and that is fat storage. Can you imagine all this time we've been working super, super, super hard and the harder we work, the more, we're right back to walking, the more we're actually gaining weight I know, I know this might have just been a light bulb moment for you. It was for me when I figured it out too. I was working out the same way I'd always been working out and suddenly the scale was moving in the wrong direction. Suddenly I was in the middle of menopause. You guys, when it beeps again, we're doing something I call reach across because you know what we're going to do? We're going to reach across. It's exactly what it sounds like. Right about head or chest height. We're going to reach across one way and then the other while tapping out that same foot foot to the side. We've got lots of lateral motion today, which is why we're going to get lots of good toning. Not just walking and marching, although walking and marching is excellent for you in lots of ways, but other kinds of movements really help move your muscles through their full range of motion in every plane, in every way, to really help you, here we go back to walking, to really help you start to build some muscle tone and gain some fitness. Now that is not my primary goal for you this month. It might be your primary goal for yourself and that's totally fine, but I will tell you, I really am going to spend this month talking about how we lose weight. We lose weight by doing the five things that we need to do every single day. The five steps to weight loss. You guys want to be again. I have to tell you, we're doing something I call Papa squats. Your feet are nice and wide. We're going to pop a squat and then hands up overhead. I know this sounds so ridiculous and I absolutely love the name of this exercise. And I want you to know that you do not have to squat down low. This is not meant to be like strength work. You got your hands on your thighs. There you 
you're just making sure that you push your hips back before they come down so that your knees don't go forward past your toes. Hands going up overhead is how we're keeping our heart rate nice and high for this beautifully moderate cardio workout right back to walking. <laughs> I do kind of actually wish that this was a repeating workout just so we could do Papa squats again. <laughs> okay, you guys, the five steps to losing weight, making sure that you're eating the right number of calories consistently every single day, no matter what, drinking the right amount of water, getting the right amount of sleep, exercising moderately and managing your mind, which is also managing your stress. You guys, when it beeps again, forward hinge arm flappers, feet about hip width apart. We're going to push our hips back and pull them forward while our hands are doing more or less jumping jacks, honestly, but they're just, they're flapping, <laughs> which is why we're hinging forward with our arm flappers. If you are brand new to the Paula B Fitness channel, let me tell you something. My exercises are pretty much named exactly what they look like so that I can remember exactly what we're trying to do at any given time in the middle of our workouts, right back to walking. And by the way, if you are new, Yes, I always talk this much, always. You'll either love it or you'll hate it. It's, it's totally up to you, but this is this is me. This is what we do around here. And it beeps again. You guys are doing something I call ding-dongs. Okay, so when in doubt, yes, the exercise is called exactly what it looks like, or it's called something ridiculous because it makes me laugh. Ding-dongs is one of those things. We're swinging kind of back and forth like a bell. Our hands are swinging low, and one leg, the same leg and on the same side, is kicking out to the side. You might also kind of call these weeble wobbles. It's what I think of every time we do them because we really are weebling and wobbling and hopefully not falling down. Now I will tell you that something else we're going to be working on this month, my own little, my own little thing that I like to think about. As I'm getting older, I'm noticing that there are lots of changes going on with me. I have never ever been good at balance. Here we are right back to walking. I've never been good at balance, but I have found over over the years that I have been practicing it, that practicing a little bit at a time is helping me get better at it. So over the course of this month, you'll notice that we've got little bits of balance practice every single day. That ding dong, that was one of them. We were tipping to the side. I know you noticed it when it beeps again. Doing something I call pretzel jacks. Your hands are going to be doing jumping jacks. Your feet are going to be doing something that kind of looks like a pretzel, meaning that you're twisting in one foot foot at a time and reaching it towards your opposite hand. You're twisting your foot in and trust me, you do not have to actually touch your foot in any manner. If you are strong enough, flexible enough, whatever enough, you absolutely can. It's much more about simply moving your hands and moving your feet in a way that feels good. This again is some lateral movement and a little bit of balance. Standing on one foot at a time. Here we go back to walking. Standing on one foot at a time. When we're moving pretty quickly, doesn't feel super tough, but it also doesn't feel super easy. And that's exactly what we're looking for. A little bit of balance practice goes a long way while we're building up our core strength, while we're building up our fitness, and while we're losing weight, and well, we're not um, exactly getting younger. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call cheerleader kicks. We're gonna have our hands here at shoulder height. They're gonna go up and down, popping up overhead while we kick one foot at a time. Now, here's the thing. Because your hands don't really come down very low, you'll notice that this exercise and this late in the workout, your heart rate is probably up a little bit high. That's totally normal, totally okay. When we do consistent exercise like this without any kind of breaks or rest, our heart rate naturally goes up over time. Here we go back to walking. You can control how high it goes by controlling how fast you move, how high high your hands are, coming back to a walking, which will probably bring your heart rate down a little bit. There are all kinds of ways that you can moderate your moderate <laughs> workout. <laughs> when it means again, we're doing something I call booty kicker elbow swings. And let me be really clear that I've been working out for years. My pace here, here we go with my, uh, booty kicker elbow swings. We're kicking our own booties and we're swinging our elbows. 
my moderate pace might be way, way, way too fast for you. Moderate for you is moderate. There's absolutely no objective standard. There's nobody with a time clock who's like, oh, okay, well, if you're going this direction or this speed, then that's moderate for everybody. Nope. If it feels tough to you, it's too tough. Slow down. And I mean that so nicely. Right back to walking. The harder you work, the harder it is to lose weight. Do not get yourself in this position where you're thinking, oh, I have to push harder. No, you actually have to push less. In fact, pushing less is your better bet. <coughs> Excuse me. What do people again? Hey, speaking of pushing, I'm gonna scoot over to the side here. Speaking of pushing, we're doing a little something next called push, push, crunch, because we're gonna push to the side and push to the side and then swing our hands up over and come down into an oblique crunch. So push, push, and crunch. Push, push, and then crunch the opposite side. A little bit of oblique work here for our abs, a little bit of balance work when we've got that one foot kind of hanging in the air for a while, a little bit of lateral motion, working our inner and outer thighs again. A little bit at a time is exactly how we're gonna get where we wanna go. That's the other thing I know you're wondering about. These workouts, not very long, not gonna take you all day right back to walking. That is on purpose, my friends. The harder you work, the harder it is to lose weight. You can actually lose weight without exercising at all. At all, no other fitness trainer is gonna tell you that. <laughs> but it's totally true. Weight loss is driven primarily by eating the right number of calories. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call butter churns and I have to think about this one. I'm gonna start with my hands directly up underneath my chin and my feet together. As my hands come down, one foot at a time is kicking out to the side. It's kind of like we're churning butter. It also reminds me like of a hee-haw kind of a move. It's another silly exercise that I love to do because it's moving my body and making my brain work with the coordination in a way that it doesn't always move and think. This is what I love to work on a little bit at a time. When it beeps again, we're coming right back to walking, my friends. Awesome job. Okay. We're actually pretty low on my list. This has been a great workout so far and I'm super, super proud of you. And I know, I know I'm throwing lots of information at you today, which is why it's really best for you to watch the video and download the information resource so that you can take it in at your own pace. When it beeps again, we're doing something called Goofy Jacks. It's not a squat. It's like a little half of a squat. Our hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks. We're gonna squat down. Hands do jumping jacks while one foot at a time kicks out to the side. <coughs> Excuse me again, my friends. It must be time to get something to drink because it's just about, just about the end of our workout. And yes, I'm gonna tell you again and again and again every time we work out that this is enough. Even even if it didn't feel too hard. In fact, especially if it didn't feel too hard. The whole crux of my weight loss program, right back to walking, is the fact that you could do either this exact workout or something very, very, very much like it every single day, basically forever. That's how moderate feels. It feels incredibly doable, almost too easy. I would rather have you wonder if it was too easy than worry that it was too hard. When it beeps again, we're doing something I call big arm side shuffles. I'm scooting over again. We're gonna shuffle to the side while our hands go in a nice big circle right in front of us. Again, depending on where your heart rate is, how you're feeling about your sweat rate, how you're feeling about your workout, you could keep your hands a little bit lower, closer to your body, totally okay. You could shuffle a little bit smaller, not as wide, not as fast. Whatever works for you always, always, always works for me, my friends. The only, the only dog I have in your race, here we go right back to walking, is that you, have a good workout, meaning that it feels fun, it feels doable, it feels the right amount of sweaty without being too much, and that you get the results that you want. This is how we get results, by working out moderately. When it beeps again, you guys. We're gonna do something I call skiers. We're gonna have our hands going up and down right in front of us while our feet are shuffling back and forth underneath us. We're trying, and I say trying, we're trying to do our opposite hand and our opposite foot. When in doubt, 
out. I almost always go opposite hand and opposite foot. It really does work your midsection. It works your abdominals and obliques, which is like your girdle area. It works that part of your body to be going across your body. I will tell you though, I had so many clients when I used to do in-home personal training work years and years ago. I had so many clients who could not do skiers with opposite hand and opposite foot. And I tell you, I mean, from a personal standpoint, here we go back to walking. From a personal standpoint, I actually really liked it when other people couldn't do the exercises and not in a mean way, but like, I'm not an especially coordinated person at all. So it's kind of nice to me to realize that other people have these problems too. You'll enjoy that about me as well. I'm not very good at everything that we do. When it beeps again, you guys, we're doing can-cans. It's a knee and a kick on one side and then a knee and a kick on the other. So that little bit of balance, we are tapping the foot down in between, but that little bit of balance sitting on one leg at a time means that you're pulling in your core. You're thinking about where your body is in space and time. And I will tell you, my friends, when it beeps again, we are done. This was the last of our exercises, but we're not quite finished. <laughs> if you're new around here, welcome to the finisher. We are going to walk for one more interval, and then I have one final thing for us. Here we go back to walking. I have one final thing for us that is not meant to be super hard, but it might feel super hard with your heart rate up with a cardio workout like this. We're gonna work on our balance a little bit at a time. Here's what it looks like. We're gonna have our hands up overhead and we're gonna stand on one foot. I always stand on my left leg first because that is my, my non-dominant leg, my less strong leg. We're gonna bring our hands down to the other foot, which is well not foot, but the other knee, which is coming up in a high knee. So this is slow and controlled. Pull in your core overhead and then bring your hands down to one high knee. Now I am tapping my foot down in between. If you need to put your foot fully down in between, please help yourself. I've been working on my balance for a little over 10 years. You will notice over the course of this month that I wobble and bobble with the best of us. This is not meant to be a test. This is just meant to be practice. When it beeps again, right here, hands back up. We're gonna switch sides, standing on the other leg, overhead to high knees. And there comes the wobble and bobble. And I will warn you, like when we do balance work, you may or may not wanna actually watch me on screen because it might throw off your balance. You could also please feel free to have a chair or a wall or a couch or a table or something nearby. This is never a test. It's always a little bit of practice to help you get better, my friends. That was it, let's cool it down. I'm just gonna do some tappers here. We're gonna come right back to the exercises that we did at the beginning with some nice big arm circles. So much slower this time. <sighs> We're just really thinking about taking some nice deep breaths, cooling it down, bringing your heart rate back down to normal, and really, really, really thinking about what a wonderful job you did today. I know, I know, if you are an experienced exerciser, you're like, that was definitely not enough. I know, I understand, that is actually the biggest thing that you might need to deal with on your weight loss journey, that monkey chatter in your head that says not enough, not enough, not enough, my friend, you are enough. This workout was enough. Focus that monkey chatter energy on doing the other four steps of healthy living and weight loss. Let's go ahead and open it up nice and wide. Oh, stretch out your chest. Ah, and then close it up. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on your sweaty back. Oh my gosh, what a good job you did today. I'm so, so proud of you. Here on screen, I do have a longer cool down for you. So I know some of us love to stretch a little bit more. I've got a great walking cool down for you that's a perfect complement. A little bit more stretching, a little bit more cooling down. And on the other side of the screen is the video I was talking about. Everything you need to know to get started with your weight loss so that we can have a hugely successful month together, my friends. Make sure that you click that subscribe button down in the corner and I'll see you tomorrow.